everybody, Bricklover18 here today with a discussion video. And today's discussion video is on the topic of should T-Falls be allowed to sell Lego on sites like Bricklink and eBay. Before I really start this video, I just want to make a full disclaimer that this video is not directed at anybody at any certain party or anybody in general. This is just a general thing that I see in the community, people wondering, and I just wanted to address it with my opinion. Everything I do say in this video is my personal opinion, and if you don't agree, you know, that's fine. You don't agree, and you can let me know that down below. I want this video to be a discussion video and not just be a one-sided my opinion argument. For those that don't know, selling Lego is the new in thing right now and a lot of people have started to open up Bricklink stores. It's not as popular as it was a little while ago when everybody was starting a Bricklink store. But people still have Bricklink stores. And the one thing I see commonly is a lot of adults and AFALs and people in general, they don't think that teenagers should be allowed to sell Lego. Apparently even Bricklink feels this way because their minimum age requirement is 18 years of age. I don't really know why adults and people like that, because I'm not going to lie, it's mostly adults that feel that kids shouldn't sell Lego, which that makes sense, because when you think about it, you don't want a kid taking your money and not sending you the proper pieces. They might make a mistake, they might not have the sets, they don't, they most likely won't have like the quantity of pieces or a lot of pieces because they're running under a small income. And a, a lot of times I just think they don't want kids handling their money. Well, that makes sense because they've worked very hard for their money and if a kid doesn't know what they're doing, they don't want to be out their money. And that makes sense because there's a little bit of lack of responsibility there. But I don't think it should be said that teens can't, teens, I don't think kids should sell Lego, but teenagers, you know, from 13 and up, I think they should be allowed to sell Lego. I personally feel that it's good responsibility and good teaching these teenagers how to sell Lego because I know myself when I sell Lego, I work very hard to, you know, get the, work hard, get them, you know, get my money, fair enough, but I also make sure I deliver the product well, I make sure it's in good condition, I make, I have to properly pack it, I, you know, I, there's a lot of stuff to just selling Lego than picking the envelope, or picking the parts out and throwing them in an envelope, so I think it just teaches good responsibility, and honestly, let's face it, we all know the economy is not doing great right now. I don't know about your country, but in my country, it's not the best. And a lot of jobs are being taken away by factories and places like that. So I think, I know starting a business, you know, at 15, even though it is selling Lego, it's just a way to get some extra income when there's not a ton of jobs out there. This is a make your own and it's just promoting entrepreneurship. And I just don't think that's something that they should be taken away by adults that just don't think, you know, kids should be selling Lego. But I completely understand their point. Like, they want to deal with adults. They don't want to deal with kids. I myself personally feel that if the teenager or the the young adult is getting the job done, is getting you your parts, is not scamming you, not stealing your money, and not acting immaturely, I think they should be like perfectly allowed to run a Bricklink store. I just think, or any kind of store, just we want to promote responsibility. And this certainly helps, you know, being responsible to get the orders out in a timely fashion and it's going to help prepare for an, another job. And let's face it, some teenagers are more responsible than adults. So it's not fair to say just because you're not 18 yet doesn't mean you can't run a Bricklink store. It's just one of those things that it's going to be it's going to be discussed and it's going to be talked about and there's never going to be an agreement thing. I just think that teenagers should be allowed to sell Lego if they do it right. I mean, if there's problems, then no, they shouldn't be able to it, sell it. But I don't think we should just say, you can't sell because you're not 18. So a lot of te teenagers and stuff have come to the, okay, I'll start a store with my dad or with my mom. And that's fair. But why isn't it fair if they just run it by themselves? I know in my own store that there has been learning experiences. There have been customers that were very pleasant to deal with. There have been customers that have been very, very pleasant to deal with, but the orders have just not gone very smooth. I had one case where the buyer said they sent the payment, I received an email that I got the payment, but there was nothing in the PayPal account. It, the balance wasn't updated and there was no notification that I got the payment. So that was hard. What do I do? Do I to tell the buyer they're a liar and that it, you know, they didn't send the money or do I trust them and say they did send the money? So it's hard. It's one of those things, but an adult could have that problem too. It's not just the teenagers. And you know, there's other times where the, there's not a, the buyer won't pay, which 
could be an adult and it could be a kid. You just don't know. So I don't think it's fair to say only teenagers don't pay for their orders. Because I know for a fact I've had adults who don't pay for their orders. I've had adults like refuse to pay for their orders. And I've said, you know, like, kind of, you did order these things. I have them all ready for you. But they said, no, we no longer want the parts. That's not right either. I just think that instead of discouraging teenagers to start their own business, show some responsibility and make a little extra money, I think we should be helping them, you know, offering assistance when we can. And you know what? There are some great AFALs out there who have helped me so much with this BrickLink stuff. I mean so much because sometimes something happens that you just never think of and it's always great to have that fallback AFAL to help you out, an experienced BrickLink seller. And you know, the good thing about our community and our LEGO community and the, like the Two Blood community, there are a lot of people who are willing to help you out. And I, I really appreciate that and I think they should continue what they're doing. But then, then there's some, some AFALs who just don't think that teenagers should have a store. And you know what? I respect your opinion. Maybe don't think it's, it's not my opinion. I don't choose that opinion, but I completely respect your opinion. For those AFALs that have been really good in helping out the teenage LEGO community, trying to sell LEGO, you know, props to you, like thank you so much for what you've done, like you've really helped me out, you've helped a lot of other TFALs out, and for those adults that don't really respect the TFAL selling community, you know what, that's okay too. I don't want this video to make me pressure you to change your decision, but maybe it'll you can take into consideration my points here. Thanks everybody for watching this little video I put together. I hope I didn't offend anybody or any way, and I hope that everybody knows that I'm not trying to push my opinion on you, I'm just trying to share my opinion with you. And even if you have the exact same opinion, or if you have a different opinion, I honestly, I'd really like to hear it, so please feel free to make a video on your channel and then comment in the link below, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to hear your opinion on this subject as well. And as I mentioned, this video had no way to target anybody or make anybody feel bad or good or anything like that. This is just something I commonly see that I, I personally wanted to address. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing your video responses down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this BrickLover18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more BrickLover18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe brick.